2020. All right, Sachi, thanks a lot for joining in and giving us your views. Uh, negative and uh, suggest shots until we cross that 17, 17 mark on the Nifty formidably. With that, we focus on a special segment where we get you ideas for profit coming in from our colleagues at Money Control Pro. Anubhav Sahu joins in. Thanks. We recently reviewed the results of our preferred play in cram space, uh, that is Sinjin. Uh, Sinjin posted a strong underlying growth of 28%. Uh, growth was primarily aided by steady performance in the discovery services, uh, which is their research division, and a strong performance in the biologics manufacturing. Uh, now, Q3 EBITDA margin has, however, uh, contracted uh, due to changes in product mix and higher other expenses. Uh, Revenue mix has a higher contribution of manufacturing, which is currently at lower margins due to lower level of capacity utilization. Uh, having said that, our EBITDA margin is expected to improve from second half of fiscal year 24 as operating leverage kicks in. Uh, it is in this context, major development is regulatory approvals uh, for the biologics facility in Bangalore for commercial supplies. Uh, bulk of the biologic capacity audited would be used for the contract with Zoitus to supply drug substance. Uh, another growth lever to watch in manufacturing is that of Mangalore API facility. Uh, here the US FD approval is expected in second half of fiscal year 24. So overall, we are positive on the underlying revenue growth. Uh, we're in expansion in the collaboration with the likes of BMS, Baxter, Amazon and Zoitus in recent quarters as to revenue visibility. While valuations are pricey uh, compared to peers in cram space, uh, strong cash flow and order book visibility suggests that the premium is likely to sustain and hence we remain constructive on the stock. Okay, all right. And above, thanks so much for that. For the time being, though, we'll slip into a short break. But as we do that, it's time for our CNBC TV 18 budget quiz. Remember, there are prizes to be won every single day. We give you a question at around 9.14 a.m. And in case you missed it, well, here's the question back up for you on the screen. Well, this finance minister asked SEBI in the budget speech to raise the minimum public shareholding in companies to 35% from around 25%. And your options are Mr. Arun Chaitley, Mr. Piyush Goel, Ms. Nirmala Sitharaman, and Mr. Pranam Mukherjee. Send in your answers on Twitter. Post your answers or comment on the question tweet on CNBC TV 18 News. Use the hashtag budget with CNBC TV 18. Now hurry and send us your answers. Remember, we'll announce the winner at around 3 p.m. today.